Hello everybody, again. Uh, now we are going to talk about road administration exam and what uh, exercises you have to do there and uh, what mistakes you can make on these exercises. It's very important to understand yeah, what you should do properly and how you have to do it. So here you see the picture of the road administration where all the exam starts and you also can see on our YouTube channel some road exam road videos and then you will see how it works also uh, in practice. I mean the rules and exercises I explained it there. But here we will explain. Uh, here we are going to discuss it more, um, more, let's say, deep about this. Uh, more deep about this exercises and rules. <clears throat> so first exercise that can be on the exam is U-turn, and. Um, it can be done in two different ways. So the first, uh, on the left side, you can see uh, the first option. So you reverse backwards to the left, and then you go right. So from here backwards, and then right. This one for me uh, seems kind of more difficult than the second one. Uh, here you can go left. Yeah, so you go left. Then you reverse backwards and go straight. So your exercise finished. Yeah, you basically used three points. Uh, in all times, it was like uh, this. You have to make three points for U turn. You had to make. Now it's not limited. The only uh, time limitation you have on the uh, on the exercise, you know, on these exercises. The only limitation you have is time basically yeah so you can make as many maneuvers as you want it can be five seven nine doesn't matter uh, but still you have time limitation 10 minutes on free exercises so totally we'll discuss uh, we'll observe today um four exercises but only three of them can be on the exam so yeah, try to remember, you have only time limitation, but still you can make as many maneuvers as you want. For example, during this U-turn exercise. Yeah, so as I said, this, this one is more simple. Left, backwards, straight, always show indicators in, during the exercises. First left, then right indicator, then left again, right? So parking backwards with maneuver. <laughs> what means with maneuver? Uh, they want you to make it, for example, in 45 degrees parking or 90 degrees parking. Where, like we talked, uh, we already talked about this in the um, parking video. Yeah. So you can adjust. You see parking in front, right? You enter parking area, see parking in front, and bots just park there. This one is not uh, maneuver. This one is not maneuver. That's why they want you to see how you make maneuvers while you're parking, how you're reversing, for example. And that's why if you see parking slot in front, you still have to turn it like this and then reverse back, for example, or make it straight parking. It depends how he asks you to do that. For example, if you want to make straight parking like here, uh, you still can use oncoming traffic a little bit for making a maneuver. Yeah, you will take bigger radius and park. The same here, from the right side to the left, you have more space usually but you still also can make additional maneuver to the right and then go left. The more radius you have, the bigger radius you have, the easier for you to make this parking, right? So if you are very close to this parking slots and you just go directly to the right, you will definitely not be parallel. You will not park correctly. So that's why it's better to keep some radius and space to make it bigger. Like for example, imagine you're a ship driver or something. Uh, so this is allowed. Now, reverse parking. As I said, you can make it in two maneuvers. Uh, it's still these two different parkings. Still, they count like one exercise. Yeah, try to remember. It's not two different exercises. It, it's one. So you turn is one, then parking front, then parking uh, backwards. It's second exercise commonly. So, as I said, you can make 45 degrees angle, like here, so you move like this, and park backwards, so you park with maneuver as well, right? And this one also, you park just 
casually you have 90 degrees angle back backwards it's also counts like a maneuver and uh, it's also allowed to do like this so if he asks you to please park backwards with maneuver try not to be confused it still means that you just need to use angle like 45 degrees or 90 any any of this one and of course always indicators during the exercises backwards straight parking doesn't matter you always have to show the indicator in which way you park also you students usually confused about that but still try to remember if you park your car left like this means you turn your wheel left means you also have to show left indicator actually very simple logic everything has to be left you park left wheel steering will go left indicator also go left very simple parallel parking is the third exercise that can be asked so the same you have to park properly between cars or even if it's not cars uh, just in the free spot not between cars doesn't matter usually they give you a chance to choose uh, they give you a chance to choose the spot uh, the spot you want basically they usually ask you to uh, park in the way they want for example please make parallel parking now so then it means you can choose any spot right it doesn't matter that you have to choose some exact spot right so it's important to remember Sometimes they can even tell you, please choose any sport and any time, any type of parking on the on this parking area. So usually people get confused how it how it's possible. And usually I get used to uh, to park how my teacher said to me. But here I have a possibility to make it like free and in any spot and any way of parking. Yeah. So please try to choose as much as easier parking place you can see. Most possibly it will be straight parking, of course, not backwards. So do the straight parking in this case and um, and not between cars, for example, because it can be like more uh, difficult for you. Right. So try to choose it. Try to use these options. <clears throat> and fourth exercise, re reversing backwards or uh, straight or reversing backwards and turning at the same time. So it can be parallel road or this road can be a little bit turned left or right, doesn't matter. So you just have to follow uh, the roadside or shoulder or a stone border. You cannot use oncoming traffic. You cannot use grass. They want you to use only asphalt, of course. Uh, the same thing on the U-turn exercise. Also, you can uh, use only asphalt you cannot use shoulder or, ro or roadside you cannot use grass definitely and you cannot go to the oncoming traffic during this exercise yeah so if you're reversing you cannot go like this here then exam is failed immediately and the same thing they want also you to make it straight if you make some zigzags like this you're reversing like this they can ask you to repeat if you do second time the same then exam is finished so that's why it's very simple exercise right uh, you have to first of all to park your car uh, correctly in the beginning yeah try to make it parallel with the road in the beginning and then the only thing you just need put reverse gear and just reverse straight backwards okay if it's a turn then you just follow the right mirror and a little bit follow the stone border in the mirror and turn with him together basically with it i think i mean so these four exercises uh, we have but only three of them can be on the exam usually it's like reverse parking for nowadays uh reverse parking then reversing backwards straight and then you turn you turn is mandatory they we all, always do that so i hope with this uh you are clear now with the exercises they can ask you to do what can and cannot be done while parking so here we see on the picture two wrong uh parking if it's red means it's wrong so car is standing on the line like this 
or par or car is not within the parking box for example mirror is out of the line yeah even if car is not standing on the line but still mirror is out of the line it's also a mistake so car has to be within the box also try to remember that uh, you have possibility to go out and out from the car on the exam you can check how you park and um, he will be waiting for your final decision for your final answer so anyway all the time you park you can go out and check see how you park if it's not correct you correct correct a little bit then go back to the car I mean go back to the car correct it a little bit and then check again for example just to make to make yourself sure and then you can tell him okay I'm ready and here he's going to check you finally uh, this exercise but after he check you cannot correct anything so that's why you have this possibility to go out of the car and um, as I already said you have 10 minutes for free exercises yeah so for example if you did uh, first two exercises for two minutes means for the last exercise you can spend all this eight minutes for parking for example it doesn't matter in which uh, way you do that so um, the same thing if you park your car uh, like this so your car is looking out of the stone border or a little bit on the grass you see the bumper for example this one is not real big mistake but when like full car until the wheels is uh, out of the stone border it's a mistake fail mistake especially if it's on the grass yeah for example uh, the owner of this grass always keep uh, ho like holding it keep uh, cutting it every day and really likes his like grass area and you just park your car like this so uh, in this case it's not good that's why we have this rule that your car has to be within the parking sp uh, spot until um, and of course you cannot cross the stone border even with the bumper even this can be considered like a mistake but not fail mistake but still small mistake right so try to follow this one as well if you see yellow here solid line it means that um, means that it's not fail mistake but still mistake it will be considered in uh, in the end in conclusion of the exam car park here also for example on the left side is very correct you can see that car is like um, within the box it's not looking out of the line for example like here you see it's out of the line out of the parking slot out of the parking box so mirror is looking out of the parking slot you see it here so this one will be fail on the exam so that's why I always correct that the same thing we also talked about that uh, during the parking lesson parking and standing lesson if you ask you to park straight parallel parking straight uh, you can cross only one parking line also in this case you cannot use a lot of parking lines and park somewhere there in the end near this bus for example so please uh, don't forget that as well only one line can be crossed and car has to be within the uh, parking slot If you park like this also you are not within the parking slot you cross the line exam fail this one is correct this one is far it means that your back part of the car is looking out of parking slot also means also can be it also be, can be considered like a small mistake but depends on the examiner so better not to try your luck in this case The same thing happens if you go into the stone border and you have um, you just hit the stone border I mean yeah if you hit or you go over it exam is immediately uh, exam is immediately failed instantly failed for that 
in the in that case so uh, I was talking with one examiner and uh, what exactly they mean about this heating right so sometimes you can touch it slightly right very smoothly and gently so one of the examiners told me that um, if you touch it gently and you feel it and you control it in this case it will be not considered like a mistake for example here right um, seems he touched it like it was under driver control but if he hit it like this on the high speed like boom uh, like here or here then definitely exams exams fail but still I recommend to you even not to touch it try to make all the maneuvers for example u-turn usually this mistake happens on the u-turn when people make u-turn between two uh, stone borders on the narrow street during the first exercise so uh, try to control this uh, distance between your car and I mean wheels and stone border and as you remember you can make a lot of maneuvers so better to make more maneuvers than trying to fit in a very narrow street right so I hope you understand my idea uh, if we are outside of the build-up area, for example here, yeah, you can park on the shoulder. In the city, as you already remember, we talked about that uh, during the parking lesson, you cannot park on the grass. You have to use edge of the road. And you cannot use shoulder as well, so you have to be only at the edge of the road. You see, we don't have 70 centimeters for pedestrians here. So only on the edge of the road, no grass if you park or stand on the grass during the exercise it's immediate fail immediate fail on the high on the highway outside of the build-up area it's still allowed to use roadside shoulder but of course not allowed to use grass but this standing or parking will be correct on the exam also uh, second problem usually out sometimes it happens with the students they um, park in some areas with, where it's not allowed. One my student park, for example, on the place for the disabled people. Uh, it was very tricky. Um, one, uh, one student parked on the place, so it, it, it's in Lagri actually, maybe you know that, Lagri Market near Rimi. There's two places for, for electric cars. In this case, you cannot also use this places so exam was failed on this only and here you see for example the way of parking uh, so you see that your car has to be parked straight to the stone border but this car parked otherwise so it's also failed and here you understand sign yeah no parking no standing sorry no parking, no standing on the left and on the right of the sign, so means also fail in this case. Then, so here, too far from the stone border, but still within the box, will be considered like a small mistake, but still not fail. But if your uh, back part is still out of the parking slot, like here. You see it will be failed here you see it's everything is correct uh, park card uh, card parked correctly within the parking slot it's not looking out of the lines mirrors are within the lines so car parked correctly so this is okay here a small mistake because it's too far but still within the box here car is out of the box exam failed on this also these kind of places, uh, it's not fail if you park like this, but still it will be considered like a mistake. Why? Because you choose two narrow spots. For example, if you have whole car or family, so they have to leave, uh, they have to exit from the car, right? And they cannot even exit, even examiner cannot exit, you see? Here it's too narrow, here it's too narrow, so it's kind of difficult. So try to choose, as I said, uh, maximum three spots for that. But still, it's not failure, a fail mistake in this case. So, what else can be considered uh, like a um, small mistake? If you park, for example, on the place for 
family. Sometimes you can see, for example, Mustica Prisma or uh, Maxima in uh, Uisme 3X. Uh, you can see special parkings for families. Yeah, it also will be not fail, but still small mistake in this case. The same you see client for some, uh, it's like cafe or something. You are not the client now, right? So you cannot use this spot. It will be considered like a small mistake, but still I will recommend you not to even try your luck on this kind of places, right? So sometimes examiner can decide that you parked wrongly, so exam is, exam is failed. Like I told you before, uh, the guy was parking on the electric car spot. So uh, it's actually not prohibited somewhere in the traffic act. I have, I, I didn't see that. Uh, but still exam was failed because examiner decide this, right? So try not to make him nervous and don't give him even a chance to fail you. So choose casual spot, uh, park there properly like we just discussed here also side parking it's uh, a little bit you see here a little bit out of the line on the line here completely on the line also fail in this case here uh, here it's correct car park correctly so it's not fail this one is fail this will be considered like a small mistake, like we talked about that in the beginning. The same with the stone border. If you cross it a little bit, it's still a small mistake. But if you cross it fully like here, then it's a huge mistake and it, it, it's instant fail for you on the exam. So thank you for this. Um, thank you for participating in our videos. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please subscribe on our channel, put likes comments and uh, I will like I will be glad to answer all your your questions and uh, hope see you soon and goodbye